Hey guys, it's Isabella. Welcome back to another one of my videos. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I make a song and how you guys can make a song too. Lyrics and recording and everything to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into this video. So the first thing I usually come up with when I'm making a song is the melody. And I know this may seem kind of out of order. Maybe you want to come up with the lyrics first, or maybe you have an idea for how the song is going to go, like instrumental. But normally when I come up with a song, I come up with like the main melody, the chorus, or how the song should sound like. I do have two songs on Spotify that I did make by myself, and I'm currently in production of making a new musical, which I've made 13 songs for there too. And a lot of them, I come up with the melody first. You can come up with a melody in a bunch of different ways. I usually just find myself humming along to a melody. You can also just play around on a piano if you have one and just play around with the notes. So for example, let's take my song, Out of the Dark. So this song is not out yet anywhere, so if you're watching this video, you might be the first one to see the song. The melody for this song goes And one day I just found myself, you know, singing that. If it doesn't come like supernatural, again, you can use like, the piano or any instrument, but I guarantee if you were trying at it, if you like music, one day you're going to find yourself coming along to something and that can be an amazing song. So once I had that melody, I then was like, okay, we gotta add some words to this. And a great way to come up with words is actually using a random word generator, which you can find online. Just come up with like a bunch of words and be like, hey, maybe this song can be about this. You can also just like sing gibberish. It's very, very abstract, this process. You don't have to follow a certain format, but this is what I follow, so just let the creative ideas come to you. Anyway, I was like, okay, what's this song gonna be about? So I was like, so I wanted to let you wake up and see there's a life that's inside of your heart. So it's kind of like being stuck in something but pursuing your dreams. So why don't you wake up and see there's a life that's inside of your heart? And the song was gonna be called Out of the Dark to get up, get out of there, get going out of the dark. Just play around, see what works. You can always revise your lyrics. See what rhymes in your head, see what comes up. A great website for rhyming is RhymeZone. If I can't find a rhyme, I go on that website because it's great. Anyway, so once you figure out what the song is going to be about, about coming out of the dark, realizing your true potential, following your dreams, then you know what it's gonna be. You can write the other lyrics, the verse, the pre-chorus, and all other components to the song. So getting into the structure of a song, the general structure is intro, verse one, chorus, you could have a pre-chorus before the chorus two, verse two, pre-chorus, chorus, the bridge, and then the last chorus. But you don't have to follow that structure. That's like a general structure, like to get you going, like if you're a beginner. But you could really do whatever you want. If you think that the song should go a certain way, then that's your opinion, you're the artist, that's how the song should go. So let's take a look at the chorus here, and then I'll show you guys what I ended up doing for the lyrics. So why don't you So that was the chorus. Here's what I ended up doing for the lyrics. When you're doing the verses, try to paint the scene for your song. Something that I do a lot is I ask questions. So my first question that I ask is, do you ever get that feeling that you're meant for something more? So that kind of ties into like the whole following my dreams thing. Like you're 10 feet off the ground, but your feet are on the floor. And I was really proud of this too, because that's kind of like a simile, right? Like you're 10 feet off the ground, like, whoa, I'm all the way up here, but I'm stuck on this floor. And then I do another question, which is... Do you ever get that feeling? You don't know where to start. Should you listen to your head or should you listen to your heart? Do you ever get that feeling where you don't know where to start? Should you listen to your head or should you listen to your heart? Asking questions is a great way to like introduce a song, I think. But you can really do anything. I would say pull up the lyrics of some of your favorite songs and just really debunk them 
and be like, what is it about these lyrics? It makes it so thought provoking. It makes me like the song. Is it the meaning behind it? Is it the figurative language they use? What is it? And then kind of incorporate those tactics that those artists use into your own lyrics. Questions is a great way and then definitely looking at other artists' tactics and implementing those into your own style to create lyrics for your own song. So after that, I do a list. So I say constant questions, ask advice, contemplate if I'm not right, if I'm wrong, then what's the sign to move on forward? So it's like an inner monologue kind of, and it's like a list that keeps repeating because the character is like, what do I do? All these thoughts are coming into my mind. I have to list them all out and uh, really figure out what I'm going to do in my future. That's what the list kind of does. And then it kind of just continues. And then it goes right into the chorus. There's so many different ways to create lyrics to a song. Just do what works best for you. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how I make and produce the song. So let's go ahead and get started. So right over here, I do have Logic Pro, which is where I do all the production for the song. And there are multiple different ways you can produce a song. I use Logic Pro and although it is expensive, you can use other software such as GarageBand, which is really great for making songs. They do have a lot of resources you're able to use and I made a lot of great songs in there. Actually, one of my songs I now called Open Road that my dad made. He did it all in GarageBand and that's on Spotify right now. So that's really cool. That's a really great software if you're just getting started. And BandLab is also pretty good. I did use BandLab a little bit back then. And it's great because you can edit the vocals, you can choose the instruments you want. And it's a great beginner software. It's actually similar to uh, Logic Pro, which is a more professional software that I use. Logic Pro does have more features, of course, but it's a great way to get started. So let's go ahead and see what I have here. So the first thing that I have to the song is an intro. I do have a guitar intro with reverb on it. And reverb is basically an effect that causes the vocals to kind of echo and cascade. And so in this case, it's not vocals, it's an instrument. And so let's go ahead and hear the of reverb for here. So that's just two bars of introduction. After that, I do have the first verse of the song. And so for this, I decided to have a muted bass. So that's kind of the guitar here. And then I have a solo kick drum, some claps, this synth, of course, and then this guitar. So those instruments all kind of come in, as you guys can see, they're staggered. They come in at different times. So all together, all of those instruments sound like this for verse one. Do you ever get that feeling? Turning into the chorus, I do have a lot of the same instruments, but I do have some more that are introduced because the chorus should encapsulate some different instruments. So I have, you know, the same chord progressions that are going on, and then the instruments have just a different melody. Then as you guys can see, these are all the same, and then these are all the new instruments introduced. I have some new drums, some new guitars, some violins, and some trumpets full brass here. I also do like this transition. It's a cymbal swell. So that's what transitions into the chorus. So let's go ahead and hear the chorus one more time and this time focus on the instrumental part, not the lyrics. So here it is. So why don't you all the individual instruments, uh, the drums, you can hear the guitar going down, the guitar is going like So it's a lot of drums and a lot of guitar for the most part. But as you guys can see, there's full brass in there too, and then there's some claps too. This makes it sound more poppy. 
Logic Pro, generally you can have instruments in this area, which is like the instrument area. So you would generally like press instrument and then pick what type of instrument you want. So you can have beats, you can have a kit, a drum kit, and you can basically just filter out whatever instrument you want and then go through all the different instruments to find something that you like. Once you do that, you can just take the instrument like this and then you would just drag it in to whatever track you want it to be on. These are all individual tracks and then to add a track, you would just press this plus button and generally all music production softwares do follow the same format and then within each track if you double click on it let's say i want to double click on these authentic strings you would double click on them then you can change the individual notes right here so you can add the notes you can change how long they are and then here's your piano to figure out what note each of these parts are on so that's like the general gist of it and that's basically how you make a song. It's pretty much all up to you to figure out how you want to make it, what instruments you want to use, and you've got a lot of creative freedom. I also do like picking sounds from here. So let's say I have a piano and I want to change the way it sounds. A great way to do that is going to this little side area on the left side. So you can change the piano to sound like a bass. You have all these different kind of basses, drums, guitars, mallets, different pianos, synthesizers. If you go over to orchestra here, you can have a brass, a choir, a harp, a keyboard, and you can change that piano to basically anything to make it sound how you want. So all these instruments for the most part, like this guitar and this bass, are all created by myself. They're original because I made them on the piano. Then I just changed the way they sounded by picking what I wanted it to sound like in this area here. If you do want presets, then that's where you would use this right hand side and you can pick a preset sound that you want to put into the song. Basically just pick a bunch of sounds that you like and then layer them on top of each other and make sure that they each are introduced into the song throughout your verse or your chorus. And so as you guys can see here, they're all introduced periodically as the verse goes on. And so yeah, that's basically how you do it. So with all that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys got a little bit of insight into how to create a song, the lyrics, the production, and everything you need to, you know, get that song up and going the way you want it to sound like. Definitely comment down below if you guys have any questions because I know this process is very abstract. There's not really a clear form or pattern for creating a song. It's all up to you and how you want it to sound like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below if you guys have any questions. And here's my Instagram if you guys want to follow me there. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys won't miss any future videos from me. And without further ado, I will see you guys later. Bye!